please read this disclaimer carefully before proceeding further. Welcome traders. Uh, let's look at Bitcoin. A lot of you have asked me to um, present my analysis, my version of story on Bitcoin. So here it is. My name is Vic. Thanks for joining me here. What we have on Bitcoin is that uh, let's actually start from higher time frame so that you get the whole picture. All right. So the market obviously like you know was very very bullish everybody knows about like you know what has been happening on bitcoin and then there was this candle which was very very long candle and in um, in our fcp room i mentioned that you know one of these candles it can actually like you know start a little bit of downward movement and we were able to capitalize on that short position that we started from near about 65000 and all the way down to this level near about here so if i go to the weekly time frame why was that case the case was because of the market market was <clears throat> excuse me when it was going upwards like this it was not able to create any new highs right you know this is our definition of uh, like you know how higher highs uh, like you know we interpret in our fcp methodology we have different rules for that uh, we do not um, use the same kind of rules that we have uh, that most of the traders use so anyway now this was initial reaction and this was uh, showing us like you know very good rejection from the top and that means on the close of this candle we were able to take that short position all the way down to near about this level why why that level because we had an m pattern completing now, when M pattern completes, when M pattern is forming, the market is bearish. When it completes, the market goes up. So we started looking for long position, and I posted this on in our Telegram group as well and other uh, social media places like you know such as uh, LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, I posted that you know the market was going to go bullish on uh, Bitcoin. So it was here. Now it doesn't matter what kind of bias you are. You must trade what you see on the market, right? You know what do you see on the charts, right? So this is one, right? You know I said the market was going to go higher. Let me open this if I can show you um, what it meant. So this was the demand zone. The market completed that M pattern that we saw. This is monthly 61 point fib, right? You know, and the market never actually created any kind of like, you know, never did any kind of retest. So I'm expecting market to continue to go uh, higher, at least to perform some kind of retest to the upside. And one of the reasons is the M pattern. Another reason is this is like a very good demand zone. And the third reason that I have is because of this. If if you if you think that cryptos are in bubble, then what you should see that you know this is the same move which has happened here. Okay, after initial dip here, that initial dip was this one bear trap and then it started to go higher which is this one and then the market falls down pretty hard which was this one right and then it needs to go to return to normal kind of phase which is what we are expecting here once it has done that then we can look for for the confirmations but then I'll be looking for short position not maybe not from here because there is another version of the same chart which actually takes it to 80,000 as well so so it can go to 80,000 as well but I'll be I'll be taking it in steps so my first port of call will be near about 40, 43,000 or so and then 48 or 50,000 and then I'll see where, like you know what market is telling me. So that's what my plan is Let's see what has been happening. So If I go to the monthly time frame the market came right into 10 moving average Created a little bit of bear traps here and there and now in this month of July it started to go up Let's look at six months time frame because we have just started the new half year and What we are looking for is actually the fill of this candle Right, you know, maybe like you know, to this level, or maybe to the next high level, which is going to be here, um, somewhere around here, or even higher than that, near about 80,000 level. So that is quite a possibility. Even though this is a rejection sign, huge rejection has happened here. But usually, market tries to fill this um, wick to a certain level before it starts to fall down. Okay. Now, if it wanted to fall down, it would have already done that because after this candle. If the market shows a red candle so start with to begin with then it had a better potential of falling down but so far that has not happened here uh, we already have finished four days remember um, cryptos run 24 7 so it has not happened that means the market is still bullish and it can continue to rise up and if I go to the monthly time frame this is what it is trying to do it is looking very very weak right now I know this is very weak but you must like you know stay with your analysis you must assess the probabilities objectively 
so right now this has a good chance of going upwards let's go to the weekly time frame on weekly time frame this is a moving average where it can come to and that moving average is near about at 43,000 42,800 is near about that um, and then then we have this moving average which is near about 48,000 or markets if the market picks up the momentum then 50,000 is uh, can also be reached so this is what we have now let's go to the daily time frame on daily time frame there have been a lot of like you know, ups and downs but you see around this region market has been getting rejected from the bottom there have been a lot of uh, signs of like you know rejection from the bottom and it has created a lot of WNM patterns and we have been able to play a lot of WNM patterns if you have been following my analysis on um, telegram and other places I've been posting like you know there have been a lot of opportunities here um, let me actually show you if I posted some here I think there was yeah there was something like here uh, this is the dollar similar sort of thing a lot of rejections from the bottom same thing is getting repeated in Bitcoin now and um, yeah so these these are uh, this sort of opportunities like you know there have been a lot of opportunities which we were able to take um, because of the WNM pattern so target this one reached this one reached and this target has been reached so if you know how to trade these WNM patterns using FCP technique then you know what we, what you can do you may not like you know be looking for huge profit targets but these movements are good enough like you know if you take let's say from here short from here all the way to this level that's a good near about two or three thousand dollar difference in uh, Bitcoin so that's a good one right you know though for short term at least so what we have is that we also had an M pattern and that's why I said around 30,000 that market was going to collect the stop losses at this point in time all, all the media and everybody was like in a year Bitcoin is dying next one is 12,000 20,000 or whatever but you see the market came to 30,000 first showed initial reaction and it has come back down to create a double bottom on the higher time frame so you should see and you should you should be able to like you know trade what you see so we have double bottom stop loss collection by creating a bear trap and then the market started to go up and this was at 30,000 around June 22nd and right now where we are this was the double bottom and the market has gone up to near about 35,522 and this is where we are standing so personally I was able to take a position right at the tip of this and the market is still rising and I can um, I'm expecting it to continue to rise to this 200 moving average which is near about 44 so the 43 is the first one 43 or 44 near about that level okay now let's um, look at it on what I envisage now this is a different version of what I envisage uh, which lets me actually look at a uh, different time frame so on weekly time frame an early buy warning can come on the water trend at the bottom okay that's quite a possibility this is turning bullish already we already are looking at the bullish scenario the market is rising up even though there are several gaps left there are gaps left here there are so many gaps left though the lowest gap which is available on Bitcoin is near about 7400 so if it starts to fall and which I think it can but as I said we trade what we see so for now the market is telling that it can be bullish so why don't we just take like you know long trades in there of course we will do the risk management and everything but we must trade irrespective of our buys so that's the weekly time frame if I go to the four hour time frame um, sorry not for an uh, eight hour time frame now this is the target this is the bullish target blue blue and this is the bullish target where it is just about to reach and you see in this process we are about to create a W pattern here actually multiple W patterns so it can push the price into here okay this is the previous late, latest previous high it can reach near about that and then start to fall perform a retest of the previous one and then continue to go higher that's quite a possibility here okay now let's um, look at uh, other time frame so six hour still looking bullish this is bullish right now as you can see this is blue blue and the water curve is even though this is red because that shows the higher time frame trend it is it has started to tilt a little bit upwards like this so that is a possibility that market is probably going to go higher in Bitcoin uh, let's look at um, some other time frames just to give you a whole idea on monthly time frame we are bearish so we are bearish bearish and this is the target minimum target that we are looking at and what is that target given by what and research and uh, that target is approximately 26,315 and it can that's a minimum that's a conservative target it can actually fall further down because it can fall down 
all the way down to what a curve which is 15,000 16,000 or so but I'm expecting if it starts to fall down then I'm expecting it to continue to fill those gaps up ultimately but for now because this price is too far away this fall was huge fall this price is too far away from what a wave so at some point in time this will try to go back up and that's what we are banking on like you know we will go to long position and once the market has reached our levels and when it shows that you know it wants to go down then we'll start to short and that's how we stay objective in the market so that's my analysis on bitcoin if you enjoyed this analysis found this useful then make sure to hit the like button put in a comment below this video and share it with other traders and trading communities because that's how we help each other and that's how we make money with each other right so i'll see you in the next one have a great trading week next week if you are interested in learning how to analyze the markets the way I do using Fibonacci Confluence, then head over to Vikinsa.com and under training section you will be able to see Core Strategy Training Program. On this page you will be able to see the testimonials of previous students and also uh, look at the brochure. The brochure has a lot more information including the course structure and the Fibonacci Confluence Training Program curriculum. This is a very extensive program in which we cover basic core Fibonacci concepts along with the advanced concepts to analyze the markets with high probability. If you are interested in joining this program, come to vacancer.com and under training section you will be able to see and submit this form.